what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about screen 5 we're going to be getting the screen 5 trailer tomorrow we got some new exclusive first steals from the film today courtesy of entertainment weekly shout out to entertainment weekly also shout out to uk for always keeping me up to date on all things screen related even when i'm not looking for it i always can rely on you to bring that to my attention so i thank you um this was shown to those of us who saw the 25th anniversary screen yesterday there was a little clip that said scream trailer this tuesday so we all have that to look forward to tomorrow and now let's get into these steals that we got today the very first steal that i want to go over is this one with Sydney Prescott and Gail Weathers. I think this is an amazing steal. Some of these are a little bit more grittier than the others, so they might be a little bit pixelated when you look at them. But this still here, I feel like is just a very full circle moment for how far these women have come as it relates to their animosity that we first see at the original film and how it just naturally progresses into peace and comfort with each other and now friendship and being on the same page yet again to solve another murder spree with Ghostface at the center and the town of Woodsboro. This next deal we have here is of Sam Carpenter and Richie Kirsch, who we know will be playing boyfriend and girlfriend. Sam Carpenter is believed to be our new final girl taking over for Sidney Prescott in the newer films that come if this is a success so it looks like this here is just them having a conversation about something going on in woodsboro again from what we've seen it looks like they're going to be going to woodsboro the synopsis that say a woman returns to her hometown that woman is believed to be sam so because this could just be them talking about the things going on in woodsboro and how it relates to her younger sister tara who we know will be played by jenna ortega and then we have Liv mckenzie uh, and again we need to protect this character at all costs. <laughs> Those of you who have been in the chat on on Twitter, you we all have our thoughts about this woman here. I have a feeling she will be on Kirby territory. Just something about her, to me, screams Kirby territory. We know she's related to the McKenzie's. Liv McKenzie is her name. And I can't wait to see what this character brings to the table. Can't wait to see the performance that we get to bring this character to life. Can't wait to see the development that she gets along the way in this new film and now we have david arquette dewey riley once again he did share in the entertainment weekly interview that dewey now has his limp back now i'm not a i'm not in the health health field of course i don't know the most about healthcare. i'm not a physician of any sort but i don't believe limps can come and go like that um maybe something else happened in between screen four and screen five that's what i'll tell myself if they don't explain it I'll just tell myself he got injured again in between screen four and screen five because I don't believe a limp can come and go like that, but I might be mistaken. But apparently Dewey's limp is back. So we have that to look forward to. And then we have now Jenna Ortega, who we know is playing the character of Tara Carpenter, Sam's little sister. And we know her and her group of friends will be making up kind of the centerpiece of the new team of Woodsboro's that will be getting targeted by Ghostface. And this image here very much is a a parallel to the opening with drew barrymore in the original definitely a parallel there and this screams to me that she will be in the opening scene i do not believe she will be the one i don't believe she'll die i just believe it'll be a very intense sequence that will have the general public believing she'll die only to subvert their expectations just being nothing more than mr x once again and then we have uh judy hicks judy hicks played again by marley shelton she is now the town the town sheriff as we have been told by viewer non that is supposedly her role now she's the town sheriff now a lot of you pointed out that she only has a knife here why do you only have a knife if you're the sheriff i do just want to add that her other hand we can't see her other hand so i'm hoping i'm gonna give her hope and just say that she has the gun being hidden to surprise whatever it is she's lurking on i think she's going after ghostface and then we have her son here who we know is played by dylan minette wes hicks he will be portraying Judy Hicks or he will be Judy Hicks son in the upcoming film. Uh, what, he'll be one of Tara's friends, I believe, from the audition tapes, if I'm remembering correctly. He has like a he had a crush on Tara or something like that. A slight interest, love interest romantically in Tara. But that was never returned back. I might be mistaken. I'm just trying to remember now the stuff from the audition tapes. But we have a little cool image of him. Looks like he's probably being targeted by Ghostface here after receiving a terrifying phone call. And now we have a shot of Melissa Barrera once again in Stu Mocker's house. Definitely this is Stu Mocker's house. And she looks amazing in this image. She looks like she's ready to fade. <laughs> she looks like she's ready for that final brawl. She looks like she's ready to throw down with Ghostface after she finds out 
who they are, what their motives are, etc. And of course, it looks like this is all going down at the Mocker House. So she looks like she's on looks like she's on the phone actually with ghostface i will assume once again just assuming she's on the phone probably been told to go here by ghostface following instructions same way sydney used to do and then we have this character here uh i believe her name is amber freeman i think that's her name amber freeman i think that is the character's name and she we know will have like some type of tr type of relationship drama going on with tara in the film i think they were described as being a couple at one point in time in the audition tapes so can't wait to see what their dynamic is and what she brings to the table i just i something about mikey madison i feel like this this character here will be one of the killers something about her i feel like she'll knock it out of the park anyway so i would love to see it we have a look here of chad meeks martin i think is his name chad meeks martin played by mason gooding the nephew of randy once again son of martha whether or not we'll see Martha, I don't know. We know Martha was on set, <laughs> but her part could have been cut out of the film. But I, I believe they're going to make it very clear and establish who who these children are relatives of. So looks like they're at a bar. I know he's dating Liv because you saw Liv was there too. Liv McKenzie. Him and Liv are dating. I think they have some type of relationship drama going on between them two. Then we have his sister here, Mindy Meeks Martin, Randy's niece. So I can't wait to see how the dynamic is between her and I think actually Chad is her twin. I think Chad is her twin brother. I can't wait to see what happens between the two. I think they're twins. They might have changed it, though, from the earlier descriptions that come out, because I think they described Chad and Mindy being twins. But they could have, of course, decided to not make them fraternal twins at all whatsoever. They could just be brother and sister. Uh and then the very last shot of course i wanted to save for the end is ghost face now this image here is looking like it's in the woodsboro hospital once again i do think this is a very tremendous look at ghost face can't wait to see how everything comes together with the trailer that we're getting tomorrow the last thing i want to say was like in this entertainment weekly interview that i'll leave a link to in the description all the sentiments from courtney and david talking about how they felt very sad on set overwhelmed with emotions because west wasn't there i thought that stood out to me very much but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i will have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news reviews i have to cover in the future rather than mine guys i will see you in the next video